So we just finished fixing Gabriel's front tire. Now we're gonna go head out to Crane Point because we have like an extra hour, we can go there. And then we're gonna go to a super cool spot that some friends of ours showed us that um, you can go snorkeling straight from the banks. So if you don't have access to a boat or you don't wanna pay for a tour and you're staying a marathon, this is a great place to come check out. We saw some pretty awesome stuff out there. We saw um, cowfish, um, horseshoe, horseshoe crab. crab. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Lobsters. Huh? Yeah, three lobster, and we'll show yellow you in there. Yellowtail snapper. And some mangrove snapper. I didn't see any yellow though. Oh, mangrove snapper. I tried to get a video of the mangrove snapper, but they're a little bit far away. Um, and then the wind picked up, but it's surprising how clear it still was. Um, even though it's windy. So you can see how much white caps we have already. Yeah, it's probably a lot clearer than today. Let's see if I can get out of the wind a little bit. Um, so yeah, all in all, I think it's kind of the perfect spot to just come quickly and to do a short little swim. It's not like a huge big excursion you have to do. Um, but you can just hop in the water and see some pretty cool stuff. Um, especially if the wind is coming from the southern side of the island, this whole area is going to be super calm. Um, right now it's kind of coming from the um, west, northwest, so it's really not the best day to do it, but um, often it's coming from the south, um, southeast. So it's going to be a lot calmer here and just a really great place to go snorkeling. So here we see how to get there from the airport. All you do is from Route 1, you go to Aviation Boulevard until you get to Grouper Drive, and just go to all the end of Grouper Drive. Once you hit the water, you're there. Now I really do think this is the best place to snorkel in Marathon right from the shore. A lot of people will tell you to go just to Sombrero Beach, but Sombrero Beach does not have good snorkeling. There's not much to see and it's almost always super murky. My next favorite place would definitely be Sister Rock, which we have a whole episode about, but you need at least a kayak to get there. It's a half a mile from Sombrero Beach. And if the wind is coming from the south, it's often very choppy. If you are also planning to go on a snorkel tour but haven't done any snorkeling before, there's also a great place to just practice out some snorkeling but also still have fun. I did this with my sister. She had two kids and we had a blast just 
looking at all the stuff there and just them getting used to being able to snorkel. Another place that we really enjoy going is Horseshoe Beach, but this is not on Marathon. It's right before you get to Big Pine Key, and we'll be having another episode about that later. So we made it to Marathon, I've been there for over a year, and I'm loving it. So happy that you could come along, and we're going to show you how we got there, and some adventures along the way. I've been excited to be able to share this with friends and family and with you guys. And one of the ways we've been able to do that is my coloring book, Florida Keys Coloring. It's uh, just all the fish and coral that we've seen here. And um, you can check it out at the website, floridakeyscoloring.com, and join in with the experience. Since the stars arrive, let the fire die.